Hi guys, Glader here, and today I have a video about PSOBB server emulation. The past couple weeks, and really past couple months, I've been working towards writing a PSOBB server emulator, but the server emulator itself started about a week ago at this point. It's a free open source PSOBB server emulator, and the idea behind it is to use the shared library that I've recently published called uh, Booma Library or Booma Proxy, which is the open source repository responsible for the PSOBB client emulator project, to use this to build a server emulator. One of the reasons that the PSOBB client project stopped was because uh, I didn't run a server. I can't really rely on the continually diverging uh, PSOBB servers to support this third party client in any way. And it's also quite difficult to do pure emulation. I think a hybrid emulation approach is actually easiest, and that's something I've applied to the World of Warcraft Unity 3D client that I wrote. It uses hybrid emulation, only emulating what it needs to. So I've been writing this PSOBB server emulator using that shared library, and the idea behind it is that work on the server emulator progresses the client emulation project, and it also gives a place where the client can actually run and people can use it. Uh, on a public server where people can play. So that's the idea. Let me go ahead and run it and show you guys. I just recently started it, so don't expect a ton. And you can find this, the source code for the server, uh, at Booma server, the repository. Definitely recommend taking a look at the credits page if you're interested in who helped make this possible. So let's just run it. Run the game. So, let me spread these little bad boys out a little bit, so you can see some stuff's going on. Let's just go ahead and log in. And you should see uh, some of these services will actually start doing something. There we go! We've actually successfully authenticated. If we go ahead and run it again... I haven't actually tried this, so hopefully it works. We'll go ahead and log with the wrong password. There we go, incorrect game ID or password. Beautiful stuff. So, just like the first video of the PSOVB client emulator, it's not very far. But hopefully it'll get very far very quickly. I'm really excited to revive the PSOVB client emulator. Thanks for watching the video, guys. Make sure to join the Discord, and I'll see you in the next one.